Let's do our warm ups and some gentle yoga. Okay, feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones toward the floor. Get those ribs in and up and support your lower back. Shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling. Take a moment getting that inner yoga perspective. Take a few breaths. Exhale, stress. And then inhaling, bring your arms to shoulder level, keeping your shoulders down. Hands to your heart, stretch to the front, keep those shoulders down, and then clasp your hands behind you. Hands toward the floor as you lift your heart, a little upper body back bend, and then pivot over, exhaling down. Hands up toward the ceiling, move those shoulders around, move your chin around, get the neck releasing, spread your toes out, keep lifting your sitting bones, and then bending your knees slightly, start at the bottom of the spine and wind all the way up into your upper body back bend, lifting your heart. Stretch your head back, keep the chin slightly down, don't over it. Crunch your neck. And then inhale upright, release your arms, feel the circulation increase a little bit. And again, inhaling, shoulder level, hands to your chest, keep those elbows up, out to the front with your hands, shoulders still down, and then clasp the opposite way behind you. So shift the fingers one position over as you lift your heart, stretch your spine, pivot over. And again, deepen as far as you like, lifting your sitting bones, chin moving around, hands toward your head. And again, lifting the ribs, dropping the sitting bones, wind back to the top, and lift your heart. And again, a nice upper body back bend, spreading out through your toes. Keep the weight on both feet evenly. And then inhale upright, release your arms. Back in mountain pose, just take a moment again, noticing your spine more energized, warming you up. Side stretches next. Let's keep one arm down, the other one out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away and lean to the side. So let the put your leaning away from press down, feeling those ribs stretch a little bit more, both shoulders and hips facing the front. And then inhale back to the top and release. And the other side, arm out, palm to the ceiling, hand over your shoulder. Stretch it out and lean to the opposite side. Make sure you're not leaning forward. Keep everything facing forward. You reach out through your head and your fingers. Push the foot down you're leaning away from. And again, inhale to the top and into mountain pose. Feel the sides a little more open, and then let's open the spine for our twist. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands over your shoulders. Clasp your elbows, bring your arms back by your ears and your shoulders down, but your elbows out. Stretch the spine apart and twist to one side. Take a breath and exhale over. And just deepen as much as feels right on this side. Spread your toes, get the weight on both feet evenly, and just deepen into that pivot. Stay in your twist, keep the weight on both feet as you come back up and lift your heart. So upper body back bend only, remember. Be gentle on your low back when it's twisted. And then inhale up. Exhale around right to the center and switch your arms. Again, pull them by your ears, stretch your spine apart, twist to the opposite side. Breath in and exhale. Weight on both feet, even though you're coming toward one side. And lift your sitting bones, relax through the whole back of your body. And in your twist, work your way back up. And again, into the upper body only for your back bend. Stretch out through the elbows and the head, lifting your heart. Keep breathing. 
And then inhale, upright, exhale, around to the center, shoulders down, fingertips up, extended now. Feel that lengthening through the whole body. And then come up on one side, coming up on the opposite toe, getting those ribs again opening. And bring that side down, the other one up. Stretch it out. And then both arms up, extended now. Sink evenly into your feet. Push the sitting bones slightly back as you pivot and come parallel to the floor. Stretch it out, everything stretch. And then drop into rag doll, just hanging. Take a moment there, breathing, relaxing. Pull in deeper with your hands behind your legs if you move it. And then back to the center. And roll your way up one more time into mountain pose. As you get back, just feel your spine more activated. And let's bring one arm out. Bend your elbow, fingertips up. Bring the other arm out, shoulder level. Keep the shoulder down, remember. And then swing it under and see if you can bring the hands together. If not, just bring the backs of the hands together and bring your thumbs to your nose. Pull your elbows down and in. And then push them out and lift your hands, feeling that stretch across the upper back. Eagle arms. Just feel that stretch, just relaxing into it. Don't overdo. And then fly your eagle away, swinging your arms. And back into mountain pose. Where, of course, we have to balance the body and do the other one. So arm out, bending the elbow, fingertips straight up. And bring the other arm out. Swing it under. Bring the palms together if you can, or the backs of your hands, thumbs to your nose. Again, pull the elbows down and in, you know what's going on, and then push the elbows slightly out and raise your arms. Feel that whole back of the body, again, opening, stretching a little bit more across the shoulders, through the neck. Everything opening a little bit wider, as you keep those shoulder blades down, round high, and don't forget to breathe. And again, just release that. And let's see how our balance is today. We'll add the eagle legs. So let's do the arms first and then come into the balance. So right arm out, palm tip, fingertips to the ceiling, left arm out, swinging under, Coming into the nose, pulling down and in, and then out and slightly up. Spread your toes, see, with your knees slightly bent toward, not beyond your toes. And then sink into your right foot, spread the toes out through the base of the toes, balance on the balls of the foot, and bring the other leg up and over. Bring the toes behind you if you can, or down to the floor if you feel balance challenge today. Slight bend at the hips and see if you can find your balance. Elbows out and push the fingertips toward your head. Take a moment, finding your balance if that's working. And then fly your eagle away. Back into mountain pose. And of course, yeah, we're going to eagle to the other side. So once again, sinking evenly into your feet, sitting bones down, everything lined up. Or don't forget, activated arm out, fingertips up, the other arm out, swinging under, palms together or back of the hands, elbows down and in, pushing out and up into your eagle arms, feeling that back opening. Bend your knees slightly, squatting just gently. And this time the left foot is going to sink evenly into the floor with the right leg coming up and over. And again, toes touching the floor or wrapping to the back if it works for your body. Fingertips still at your nose, elbows out, 
fingertips pushing toward your head. And again, find your balance as much as you can as you're in your eagle pose. Take a breath. And then slide your eagle away back into mountain pose. Take a moment there just for regrouping, sinking evenly into your feet, hands together. Look at your fingers and bring them toward the ceiling. Extending, coming into your back bend, pulling those thumbs as far back as your body wants to go, letting your whole spine move, lifting your heart. And nice back bend. Exhale and bring your hands to your heart. Pivot at your hips, drop into ragdoll. Lift those sitting bones, sliding your hands up under your knees, come into your halfway up stretch, lengthening. Exhale, drop back in your own dog. Straighten your knees, lift your sitting bones, straighten your back, bring your arms out at shoulder level, pivot up. Keep those arms at shoulder level, turn the palms to the ceiling, look overhead and bring the hands together. Another back bend, looking at your thumbs. And swan dive this time, coming forward, stretch it out flat, and then drop in your right dog. Again, slide into your halfway up stretch, lengthening, feel those knees and spine straight, and then bend your knees and come to child pose, transition to the floor. Forehead toward the mat, hands back by your feet, palms up. Take a breath, just relax. Feel that whole upper body stretching out. And then bring your hands to the sides of the mat in front of you. Pivot up and slide your feet back. Drop your hips, roll your whole spine down and come into resting crocodile. Head to one side, hands palms up at your hips, shoulders down. Feet hip width apart, take a breath. Exhale, turn to the opposite side with your head. Just take a moment breathing, relaxing. And then bring your forehead to the floor. Bring your arms out along the floor in front of you, shoulder width apart. And then bring the hands closer to you. One length of your palm, elbows coming out toward the edges of your mat. Forehead starts on the floor, and we're going into a little cobra. So face toward the front, crown toward the ceiling. Tip your chin back toward your chest, and stretch the chest forward and the crown home. Shoulder, shoulder blades toward your waist. So feel that upper body back bend right across that shoulder neck area. Breathe and remember, no pressure on your arms. They're just positioning, they're not supporting. Let your whole spine stretch open. Take a moment and breathe. Push your chest maybe a little further forward and your crown a little higher. Keep those shoulder blades down toward your waist. So remember, the lower body does nothing. Hips on the floor, feet straight back. And that upper body just bending into a nice upper body back there. And then exhaling, bring your forehead back down to the foot. Bring your hands closer to your body, so bring your fingertips to the heel of your palm and the heel of your palm back toward your forehead. Elbows way out to the sides. Then again, forehead starts on the mat. Inhale, face forward, crown up. Tuck that chin back so that that neck keeps stretching. And then push your chest, heart forward and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down. So nice upper body back bend right across that shoulder blade area a little bit more through the heart. Take a breath. Exhale any tension. So just feel that upper body back bend as deeply as you like. Remember, always personal practice what's right for your body. Go deeper to the floor if you need to, or bring the chest 
out and crown fire. Lower body relaxing and remember, hands and arms do not support you. It's your spine doing the work. Take a breath. Exhale back, forehead to the floor. And again, fingertips in and the heel of the palm right about your temple area. Once more, elbows are out to the side, forehead starts on the floor. One more back bend for us in this upper back sequence. Face forward, crown up, tuck that chin, bring the chest forward and up. And again, lift into that upper body, coming into that shoulder blade area back bend. So just feel what's going on at that lower shoulder blade back bend as much as deeply as you want. So the chest is pushing out, crown high. But remember, don't crunch your neck too much, so don't push the chin forward. Keep it slightly back towards your chest. Keep that base of the skull moving out. Keep those shoulder, shoulder blades toward your waist. Sink evenly into your hips. Lengthen through your spine. Keep breathing. Remember, it's the upper body spine doing the work. Make sure that you're not feeling it in your lower back. Make sure you're not overworking those arms and shoulders. In fact, bring those arms back next to your hips and push your fingers toward your feet. And then bring them back onto the floor. Take a breath. Again, chest forward, crown high. And exhale slowly, forehead down. Bring your hands under your shoulders. We're pushing back in the child's pose. So hips back to your heels, eyes forward bend, undoing our back bend for a moment. Relax, chin in. You can bring your knees together if you need that lower back stretching as well. Exhale, any tension, bring that forehead down as much toward the floor as it wants to go. Relax your shoulders, keep breathing. And then inhale, sit up on your heels and bring your legs out in front to the end of the mat into back position. So sitting on slightly behind you, core activated, shoulders back and down, press out with those heels, pulling your toes back, knees up toward the ceiling. Keep that core active as you slowly lower onto your back. So feel the lower back go on to the floor first, and then your lower ribs and your shoulder blades, and finally your shoulders and your head and your arms. Take a moment as you get into that reclined position, just relaxing, shoulders down to the floor. Bring your arms out to the side, T position. We're gonna do a couple of back bend, or twist bends, working the whole spine. So press your back gently to the floor, sitting bones toward your heels, bend your right knee, foot to the left side. We're rolling all the way to the left side. So bring the knee down to the floor, hands together, keep your head on the mat, and remember don't over straight. Right hand, no, left hand on the right knee, and right hand above your shoulder, palm open to the ceiling as you lower that arm behind you into your twist. So the more you keep the knee on the floor, the more the lower back is in the twist. The more you turn your head, your neck is in the twist. And the more your hand comes to the floor, right at shoulder level. So remember, not up by your head or down by your feet, but straight back. That opens your chest and shoulder. So just deepen into that middle back twist as much as you'd like as gravity brings your hand toward the floor. It may not make it there, that's okay. Just do what's right for you. If your lower back is giving you any issues, of course you can pad under your knee for a little less intensity in that area. Take a breath, just relaxing, letting your twist happen. and remember exhaling any stress. And to release, just let go of your knee, roll onto your back, and slide the foot next to the other one. 
back into T position, getting ready for that other direction twist. Shoulder, shoulder blades down, sitting bones toward your heels, then your left leg, foot to the right thigh. Again, keeping the head on the floor, roll all the way to the right. Knee down, hands together as you start. Take your right hand on the knee, bring your left hand to the ceiling. Palm open, keep looking at it as you turn into that twist. So the hand goes as far as gravity is willing to bring you. Let that middle back twist as much as it likes. Keep the knee on the floor if you love the low back twisting. And turn your head for the neck area as well. So remember, personal practice, honor your body, do what's right for your spine. Take a breath. Always emphasize those exhalations and letting the twist happen. Just allowing it to occur as much as your body wants and needs. Exhaling any tension, just let the tension go. Let the twist happen. And of course, on your own, you'll hold these longer, but we want to have an opportunity to relax. So let go of your knee, roll onto your back, slide the foot near the other one, and again into T position. We're going to do one more set of twists before our relaxation. So once more, as you're on your back, feet hip width apart. Slide those sitting bones toward your heels with the back down gently. And then either straight leg or bend your knee and then bring the leg up. Extend that right foot toward the ceiling. So shoulders down. And again, we're rolling over to the left side. So bringing the foot to the floor and your hands together. Again, keep the head on the mat as you roll. Hold your foot with your left hand if you can, or your leg if not, and bring your right hand again right above your shoulder. Palm open, right at shoulder level as you lower that hand behind you into the twist. Keep turning your head looking at it so that whole spine is moving into its twist as it's ready. So your hand may not make it to the floor, don't worry, that's okay. If you're not holding your foot, that's okay. Just hold your leg in that position. Straighten your knee as much as you can for that lower back to be in the twist. Hand coming down for your middle back and head turning for your neck and shoulder area twist. And again, just breathe into it, exhaling tension, letting your twist happen as much as it wants to. Take a breath. Really exhale any tension. And letting go of your foot or leg, roll onto your back, flex the foot, back pressing gently down, and lower using that core for support as you bring the heel back next to the other foot. And of course, yeah, you've got to balance the body and twist the other direction. So hands, palms up right at shoulder level. Sitting bones toward your heel, back pressing down, and again, either bending your knee and lifting the foot or keeping it straight, bringing that left leg up. Flex the thigh, keep that foot pushing up toward the ceiling. We're rolling this time to the right. So again, bringing the foot all the way down, keeping the head down, holding the foot if you can with your right hand and left hand right above your shoulder going into your twist when you're ready. Exhaling, bringing that hand down as far as gravity wants to bring in, letting your twist happen. Remember, your body knows what it needs, just let it happen. Gravity will bring you further when your spine is ready to move. Exhale, just relaxing, turning your head for your neck twist, holding your foot and straightening the knee as much as you can for that lower back twist. And just letting gravity move your hand toward the floor with that middle back twist. Always exhaling, letting the tension out, allowing the twist to happen only as far as your body needs. Deep breaths, exhaling and relaxing into it. And of course, we need our relaxation, so let go of your foot. We'll launch your back. Press the back 
gently down, leading with the heel, keeping that core active, supporting your back and leg as you lower it to the feet. And come into corpse position for your relaxation. Shoulders down, heart open, hands, palms up, toes together, and then just let your lower body relax. Take a moment to breathe, finding any tension and exhaling, letting it release. Allowing your body to soften and sink into that earth support beneath you. And just let your body go. All the tension out. Allowing your body just to grow heavier with each breath. Releasing and relaxing. Allowing the earth to support you. Let your body go completely. And as you breathe and relax, Allow thoughts of your body to release from your awareness. And as those thoughts release, just let any new thoughts coming to you release as well. Remember, it's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, there's no need to remember the past. No need to anticipate the future. Just let the thoughts flow in and out as easily as your breath. And as your thoughts flow freely, let your mind just drift and allow your awareness to release your body and your mind. And just allow that awareness to turn inward to the peace deep within. Feel your body, feel your mind, and just take a few moments to be in peace. And if you feel really relaxed and want to keep relaxing, take as much time as you have. If it's time, though, to get ready for the rest of your day, begin drawing energy and awareness to the body, to the breath, back to the moment, to the room, to yourself. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you today. Breathing more fully and stretching more completely as you're ready. And when you're ready for your final um, yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, heels toward your hips, and knees toward your foot. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release that, bring your head and feet to the floor. Rolling to the side, sitting back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.